नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स इन द इंडिविजुअल्स इन देयर रेस्पेक्टिव डोमेन्स एंड इंडिविजुअल्स इन द फील्ड्स ऑफ मेडिकल फील्ड साइंटिफिक फील्ड एंड रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट फील्ड yesterday i had a very rare opportunity to watch the performance or the workshop done by master gar late dr venkatachin satyam master gar on ramayana respectively and two days before that i had uh, heard about the testimonies seen the testimonies heard the testimonies of the disciples or the students of master garu they were a few intriguing and very interesting points which i could really come out with though i may not be a student of master garu or i may not be a dancing professional but i wanted to get this to the notice of the aspiring dancers or someone who is learning classical dance or the classical music or someone who is teaching specifically art and cultural related uh, subjects not only that even in the other domains what i could observe was master garu had a very rare distinction for which he is remembered to this day and revered at the same time respected at a highest level for his works i always had this question in my mind what is it that really made him stand outstanding among all the teachers in classical dance form or fine arts and cultural form the thing is he had a very rare distinction of inculcating imbibing inscribing the very thought of the cultural ethics and cultural ethics ethical attitude towards life understanding of the core concept of the subject from the spiritual front as well as the philosophical front and it's really like the brahman concept which bharata or 
Bharata who was talking about it in length to maintain that balance Brahman or Brahmanical rites these four core concepts were dealt in such a beautiful fashion that it really revived my subject which i was talking about the point is he had that rare attitude or aptitude towards saving that old culture which was dying i don't know whether students of master garu would have understood in depth or into the deeper aspects by going beyond the nitya and anitya concept it is really rare for me to actually like even have the interaction with master garu's son ravi shankar garu when i spoke to him over the phone before the untimely demise of his son maybe 2 weeks or 3 weeks 2 weeks before the hospitalization he had that undaunted spirituality aspect or the philosophical aspect which was coming out why am i talking about this one may ask me today if we really see most of the dancers or the aspiring dancers look at the steps that he was performing or look at his style of performing or look at his other various aspects of the shastra or the natya shastra i was a bit like taken away with the way he presented with the way he showed his agility and with the way he handled that concept core concept as to how he could imbibe or inscribe or get that seed by default into his students mind without their knowledge unknowingly that's really intriguing and interesting aspect this is one of the greatest qualities of a teacher or a guru this is the classic example i can say he has set for himself by setting as an example it was an exemplary 
rendition as well as exemplary upbringing of the students this is one of the primary facts which everyone needs to understand this is what is called tatva shastra he had the thorough understanding of universal truth or prakriti or purusha and he exhibited that tatva gnana in simple terms the legendary guru had that amicable aspect this is one of the very good aspects of master guru it's really overwhelming it's really overwhelming overwhelming believe me one needs to understand this one needs to really look at his works look at his style look at his scheme of scheme and structure structured way of explaining things not every teacher not every guru has the talent or not a talent i wouldn't say it as talent but that kind of thinking it's really was a treat eyes to watch that very closely maybe i may not have interacted with him from the learning point of view but then after understanding the shastras or tatva gyana or understanding about nitya and anitya concept it was not really annoying to me as well at the same time i wanted to share a few of the anecdotes that i had experienced i should be thankful to keshav prasad sir for giving me an opportunity to stay in his house and experience that supreme bliss which he had been practicing and this is one of the prime reasons why he stands outstanding nabuto na bhavishyasi nabuto bhavishyati maybe i might be wrong with the pronunciation please kindly forgive me na telugu lo na adi cheppadam chaatu kadu gani నాకు చెప్పాలనిపిస్తున్నది నా మనసులోంచి అది నేను చెప్తున్నాను దయచేసి నన్ను క్షమించింది తప్పులు ఉంటే కనుక ఉచ్చారణలో కానీ దాంట్లో కానీ నభూతో భవిష్యతి ద పాయింట్ ఈస్ he had that rare kind of divine intervention in all his aspects the anecdote which i wanted to share was one night i was sleeping uh, in the front room where uh, it was like a big uh, 
corridor kind of there was a light all of sudden it came it started asking me i want you to take my unfinished work you are capable of doing it you can take that challenge i am there with you this is one of the rarest incidents i am telling you out of my experience staying there in his house in kuchipudi it happened the reason for sharing this is legendary people like master garu or kalam sir these people have a vivid and wider vision they know whom to give whom not to give who are eligible and who are ineligible they may not be present in today's world in this mortal coils they may have left mortal coils but their presence is always felt as i always keep on telling that every dancer is a sri vidya upasaka by default by default because he covers up whole of the gamut of the brahman consciousness and most of the individuals get stuck at sakara brahma swarup brahman swarupa we have brahman consciousness sakara brahman consciousness nirakara brahman consciousness nirguna brahman consciousness saguna nara brahman consciousness and <coughs> sorry about that and the negative aspect of the brahman consciousness when i say negative aspect it again depends on the attitude that you develop as an individual to take it further this master garu had that rare distinction of getting through brahman consciousness sakara brahman consciousness nirakara brahman consciousness saguna brahman consciousness nirguna brahman consciousness which made him stand outstanding and that is the reason why even today he is revered for his works likewise same thing goes with kalam sir now the point is when i was like hearing to that uh, voice which came out of blues staying there i was bit like petrified what is this happening after some time 
I shared this with one of the realized souls, one of the realized personalities who had been practicing yoga and meditation for a longer time. He said, one who is getting into Shastras, who has understood Shastras, and who is trying to understand Shastras into the deeper and in-depth aspect, gets to have that interaction with the, with the realized souls like these people. And that's when you become eligible. The point is, in fact, today when I was like, if I really look at yesterday or day before yesterday, I was watching a video on Bharat Ek Khoj. And I was seeing the Vedic culture. Vedic culture, in fact, followed the same process. Even before the Vedic culture, Indic, Indus Valley civilization, Adappa, Mohanjadara civilization also should have followed the same thing. On the Nirguna Brahman concept, Saguna Brahman concept, and Nirakara Brahman concept, and the, this is one of the very interesting point and intriguing point which I wanted to share. I was watching Master Garu's uh, performance while there was a conference happening which is happening right now. Wherein I saw him getting into that mode of Nirakara Brahman Sarupa. And he was showing that virtually and that was coming out and it was so beautifully performed that people acclaimed it. Friends, aspiring dancers, aspiring musicologists, research scholars, scholars, individuals. This is one of the very key points which one need to develop. If one can develop this, this kind of understanding, what Master Garu had developed, or Kalam sir had developed, Believe me, you need not put thrust on getting accolades or whatever it is. Understanding the subject or the conceptual understanding. Thus, I conclude this video with a positive note. And pointers being Understanding of Nirakara Brahman Brahmanical Nirakara Brahmaswarupa Sakara Brahmaswarupa Brahmaswarupa. That's when you reach to the Brahman consciousness level. Nirakara Brahman consciousness, Sakara Brahman consciousness, Saguna Brahmakara Brahman consciousness, Nirguna Brahma. Brahman Consciousness. This is very important point and this is one of the vital points that everyone should be understanding who is into classical dance specifically. Classical or semi-classical dance. Because in this world 
nothing is nothing as a shape it is we who create that shape and we tend to look at it but once you start looking at the nirakara swarupa and start meditating or start taking that initiative he or she will reach to that level which they are looking at that self realization thus i conclude this video with a positive note stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with you have a nice day everyone